Welcome back guys, Tactical AV here. October 2nd, 2018, I switched my power amplifier on from Red Dragon Audio and switched on the Marantz SR7010 AV receiver. Yet to be welcomed by a Dolby Vision firmware update. But for those of us who are aware of Dolby Vision, well, you might also be aware of the fact that the updates haven't exactly been available for all pieces of equipment. In fact, it's actually become quite a nuisance. Some equipment will get it, a certain line from a particular brand or company will get the firmware updates, and the other products that surround that don't. Leaving you with Dolby Vision compliant Blu-ray player, Dolby Vision compatible Blu-ray movies, Dolby Vision compatible television, but not Dolby Vision compatible pass-through capability. Okay, so what does all this mean, guys? Well, your AV receiver or processor, if you have a home theater or surround sound, is going to be have to be able to pass Dolby Vision signals through it if you're using high dynamic range and a source with Dolby Vision. So the receiver actually needs to be able to decode that source and actually pass that high dynamic range format the Dolby Vision through the TV so it can actually produce the high dynamic range colors. And to be quite honest with you, most of the uh, AV receivers and the processors that have been sold in the last three years have been built with the hardware that can support Dolby Vision, but not the software necessarily, leaving it capable of a firmware update to fix that. However, the firmware updates haven't necessarily been available for all equipment, thus creating the issue and the need for a Dolby Vision firmware update. Well, Marantz and Denon owners need to wait no further. I'm just going to take the remote from my Marantz SR7010. I'm going to go to the setup real quick. I'm going to go to the general tab here, as you can see, and I'm going to scroll down to firmware. I'm going to click select on firmware, and I'm going to also click update. It's going to scan the internet to determine if there's a valid update that your piece of equipment is capable of downloading. In this case, it's found a firmware update available that is a 22 minute estimate download time. Let's check out what are the included items with this firmware update. So it's gonna give you the option to scroll down here and actually click select on included items. And we'll see that, voila, finally, we have a Dolby Vision compatibility update. Now, specifically, this is for the Marantz SR7010. I'm gonna be doing some research and contacting Marantz as to exactly what models this has been applicable to, but I'm gonna go ahead and assume that it's most of the SR models. So I'm talking about SR6012, SR5012, SR5010, SR6010, so on and so forth. So, but along with the Dolby Vision compatibility update, we have a hybrid log gamma, otherwise known as HLG, pass-through. So that's something that didn't actually exist on the receiver prior to this. However, most processors, again, were built with the hardware that can support this, but not necessarily the software. So one other thing I will note is the auto-low latency mode. In fact, that isn't something I've ever seen downloaded on the receiver, and I'm actually really glad that this is included here. Now, a lot of people might not know what this is and think there's an absolute no use for this. However, when you do play a lot of video through the receiver, now meaning recorded content either through a phone, tablet, whatever, camera, there's a latency issue sometimes with the processing of the videos through the device you're passing the signal through. Now, the auto low latency mode. In fact, if we do a simple search on Google, we'll actually find the Marantz customer support website giving us some information about auto latency mode. In fact, even the Marantz website tells us that any sources using AL Auto Low Latency Mode are providing high-quality video data that should require little to no video processing. Well, I wish that were true. But that it's a new HDMI feature defined in the HDMI 2.1 that allows a source, in most cases an Xbox One or, say, a PlayStation 4, to direct all compatible components in the HDMI chain, like the receiver and TV, to enter its low latency mode automatically without requiring the user to navigate a menu to set the optimal latency for their content. This allows the picture to be dis displayed with the least possible delay, which is especially important for gaming and very true. But when we scroll down just a little further, we'll notice things that say the ALLM feature is added to all HDCP High Definition Copy Protection 2.2 compatible Marantz AVR models by firmware update in August slash September of 2018. Well. What about the Denon? But to do that, you can actually just go to Denon's website, type in the mod, and just simply perform a quick check. 
Or you can really just do it the easy way. Check on your receiver or processor that's connected to the internet. Go ahead and just click update, sit back and enjoy. The estimated time is usually on par, never more than that. There's nothing you have to do. Usually the processor or receiver will go ahead and switch off and then turn itself right back on and everything will be installed and ready to work. And from there it's just as simple as sliding in a 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray that has Dolby Vision on it or streaming something in Dolby Vision, sitting back and enjoying your wonderful high dynamic range. That's going to wrap this video up today, guys. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Next, I'll be having things on the external power amplifiers. And, in fact, I got a few more toys. So, stay tuned. I'll be back, and I'll also be doing a few more SVS stuff and comparing the SVS stuff to some other speakers. I'm going to have a lot of fun stuff coming for this Halloween, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care.